Hey, what's up garden friends? Jeff here. How's everybody doing? I hope you are doing well. I am great. Look at this table. Look at it. Oh, so much gloriness. Gloriness, so much beautifulness. These aren't words. A glorious variety of spring flowers and plants. How's that? Maybe getting things off on the right note? Probably not. Spring is almost here. It's about time to get rolling on spring planters. I'm starting to stock up on some little things, some things with some pops of color and some nice fragrance, just plants that I want to poke around into different planters around the garden. Every spring, I usually highlight one or two plants that I really like for springtime. We've talked about the Gerber daisies, the violas before, and pansies, and the ranunculus, popular one. Talked about creeping jennies, which are down there over there. You can't really see them, but they're right there. There we go, that's better. Talked about them in the fall time, but great spring plants. Don't sleep on creeping jennies. If you can find them, excellent for spring containers. If you've been around my channel for any amount of time, any growing season where I've been doing my planters and various things with baskets around the garden, then you are probably well aware that Alyssum, Lobularia, one of my favorite annuals. If you're in my backyard and you're near any entryway, any window, any seating area, chances are, there's gonna be some alyssum planted around those areas. It's because I love their texture. They have great texture, they have a good growth habit, and they have the most wonderful fragrance, a fragrance that to me is calming. There's something peaceful about it. I just love it. I went looking through all my videos. I've never done a video just on alyssum, so here we are. I use them in so many of my various containers. I thought it's time that these plants get their very own video. I want these around all of my seating areas, around my windows, in the morning and in the evening. They just let out this really sweet, somewhat subtle, but a very just clean, sweet fragrance. They're also very easy to grow. There are a lot of different types of alyssum. If you go searching for various seeds or just various six packs, they come in all different colors you can see here. These are all the clear crystal mixes over here on the right. Have the clear crystal lavender shades, which is more of a purpley, kind of a lilac tone to it. And in the center, have the clear crystal white mix. And then right over here on the far left of everything is just the mix. So just a whole salad of different types of alyssum that are absolutely beautiful. Not just are there a lot of different colors, there's a fair amount of difference in their growth habits. All of them are going to stay lower and spread wide, but how much so is going to vary depending on which type you get. But I would say all of them, all of these alyssum are excellent to have in hanging baskets, to have along walkways in the foreground of the garden. Generally, most of them, with the exception of the proven winners varieties, most of them you can expect those to go anywhere from 10 to, I would say, 16 maybe 18 inches wide at the max and maybe six to eight inches high have a nice low spread they'll create a really great carpet of these cute little dainty airy flowers so whether you plant them as a carpet or as a trailer you won't be disappointed and they add a ton of texture they're great to just pop in between larger more bold plants and they help kind of soften the look of whatever they're mixed in with for the most part alyssum is very easy to grow part sun to sun will do them fine they do like a well-drained soil and they don't like to dry out for too long that's going to be more true in the heat of the summer or just whenever it gets hot for you they'll let you know when they need water, although it'd be best to water them before they get to that point, right? The standard varieties, the seed-grown varieties, I do notice that they don't usually have quite the same heat tolerance that you get from the Proven Winners varieties, and they don't get anywhere near as large either. Really, with the exception of the varieties from Proven Winners being the Snow Princess, Blushing Princess, the various night varieties that they have, all the others, usually I try and protect them from afternoon sun, which I know is weird when you say they can grow part to full sun, but it's just that afternoon heat. Sometimes that can cook them. Not something I worry about anywhere near as much during the springtime. Temperatures are more mild and cool. There's more precipitation. They're generally just looking really happy and fluffy in the springtime. No deadheading necessary. They'll just keep doing their thing, keep popping out new flowers, no problem. The only thing that I will say is that sometimes I do have to give these seed varieties a cutback of up to two thirds, like really give them a big cutback around probably mid to late July. That's only if they start to get kind of long and scraggly looking, they don't have that nice full appearance that they look best with, then I just give them a little cut. Giving them that prune allows them to go ahead and put out some more roots and start to fill back out and be a more bushy and full plant. And then they start to put on another show around late summer into fall. And these will look pretty basically from the second you plant them all the way until late fall. The Proven Winners varieties, I don't have any of them over here on the table. I haven't seen them out at the nurseries yet. With them, I usually don't see any damage on them until the nighttime temps in the fall start to 
get around to the point of a really hard frost, probably around 28 to 30 degrees, somewhere in there. But that's in the fall when the plants have had spring and all of summer to really establish themselves into their containers. In the spring, they're new and they're fresh. They will have just been planted. So I don't typically like to start sticking these into my planters until I know the nighttime temps aren't gonna drop. Probably I'd say below 35. They could take a light frost and they should be fine. And I got down to 34 here last night and they look totally fine. When I plant these, I always make sure to amend whatever planting area they're in, whether that be in a pot, basket, or in the ground. I like to make sure that there's some compost mixed in with them. Maybe some continuous release fertilizer. It kind of depends on if I have it, uh, but a starter fertilizer is what I was getting at. That'll help create a more sturdy plant for when the heat actually does roll in for the season. The crystal mix that I have right here, clear crystal mix, I believe the tags say that they'll go 10 to 16 inches for a spread, and I think 8 to 10 inches high, which is totally fine for my spring continuous. Containers. I don't usually have anything too elaborate where I want these to get extremely vigorous. However, the princess varieties from Proven Winners, those will go 36 to 48 inches of a spread or a trail. So those are extremely vigorous. It is important to look at the tags before mixing them with other things because that, like if I were to combine some of these purple, clear, whatever they were, lavender mixes with a snow princess, chances are this wouldn't would get choked out. I don't know how well it would do plants it up with something that vigorous. That's an important thing to look at. There are so many options available for them. It's good to read through what their various growth habits are going to be like. Heck, even the night series from Proven Winners, I think those go 24 to 36 inches. Maybe that's probably up here on the screen, but still very vigorous. So again, something to pay attention to. If you can get those princess varieties from proven winners, those are great for warmer climates because they have a lot of heat tolerance, more than I usually see from some of the just seed mixes that you pick up as an assortment. And there is a price difference. I mean, this is four bucks, four dollars, six plants. They have a 10 to 16 inch spread, something like that. So you would think that this might be a better buy than like the six dollar one from Proven Winners, but that one from Proven Winners is going to get bigger and more lush than this entire six pack. It's also a good thing to factor in when trying to decide which ones you want to get, what types you want to grow. It's nice to have a mix. You can't always accommodate those ones that are going to get 36 to 48 inches, right? That's really big. These are better for tucking in between spaces and baskets and things that are a little bit more subtle and not quite as extreme. And that's another one of the great things about Alyssum. There's so much to choose from. For most people, you can find a variety, a type that's going to grow well for you, probably. If you just want something that's going to stay smaller, something to tuck in between some other plants, then any seed mix will do great for you, especially if you live in a more cool, mild climate that will flourish and do wonderfully. If you live someplace with hotter summers like I do, then any of those ones from Proven Winners are going to perform really, really well in the heat. And they're very easy to grow from seed. You can get packets of like a thousand seeds for like four or five dollars. I, mean, I don't know where you live and what your price is like, but generally that's not unusual. And I just scatter them. So if you have a really big border walkway, someplace where you want to fill in with a carpet of this, you can get them from seed. Just scatter them on top of the soil, water them in lightly. You don't want to wash them away. Just a light watering in. And then several weeks later, you'll have a gorgeous carpet of these beautiful, airy, lovely flowers that smell absolutely amazing. I love them. I give them a 10 out of 10 just because there's so many different types that so many different people can grow. There's an alyssum for everybody, and like I said, it's just that fragrance. I'll say it over and over again. They just smell so nice, and they're so cute and dainty. I love them. Can't believe I haven't talked about them, or, well, I've talked about them plenty. Can't believe I haven't given them their own designated video before, given how often I use them in all of my plantings. There's a color, a type, a size for pretty much everybody. Cool climates, hot climates there's going to be one that probably fits your area, more than likely. There's always exceptions. Like if you live in the desert, eh, probably not. Probably not going to do that well in a really hot, dry climate, but maybe just put them someplace where they'll get some dappled morning light and see what happens. But I would try one of those ones from Proven Winners that they have trialed with heat before. That would be the better way to go. But the last thing I will note about the Alyssum, when you get them in a six pack like these right here, I pretty sure I've mentioned. These don't like to dry out for too very long. They like a nice evenly moist soil, something that stays consistently moist. They dry out a lot faster in their six packs. So these aren't like some other animals where I buy them and I'll, I'll let them sit around for a couple weeks until I get around to planting them. So I like to get them planted up not too long after I purchase them. Otherwise I'll be watering them sometimes up to three times a day to keep them hydrated. I don't know about you, but I don't have time for that. Anyways, there it is. There we have it. Can you hear the sirens? I'm outside. That's just the joys of being outdoors. There's noise. Comment down below. Say hi. I love talking to everybody. Tips, tricks, suggestions. Always appreciated. You have different types of holism that you like to grow over others. Just some of your favorite spring plants. 
let us know. I'm looking forward to getting these planted, getting all the spring planters going. Things are finally starting to warm up. It's so nice outside. Anyways, hope everybody's doing well, having a great day and a great life and everything's just going beautifully for you. That's not in focus. And of course, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye bye.